Hey guys, I had some silicone pieces left over from my water alien look. Figured I'd put them to some use, while also trying out my new classic color 2 palette from Bo Buggles Pro. You want to see this character come to life? Then stick around. Start with gluing down my eyebrows. Apply a plastic bald cap, gluing it down with Telesis 8F adhesive and thinner. Put that same adhesive on each ear and put on some latex ears. After that, start putting down some of the silicone pieces. Once the pieces are glued down, remove the flashing with some acetone. Basically want to use the pieces differently than the previous makeup. While doing this, I decided I wanted to add some scar pieces for the character. These are also silicone pieces, so applied them and removed the flashing all the same. With Telesis Beta Bond, stipple over the edges to blend them into the skin, and over the prosthetics so they'll take paint better. Once dried, powdered everything down with Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder. Using the peach out of the Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color 2 palette, create a base. Doing it in a couple layers, then spattering the color all over. Next, with the same palette, take the ochre color. Shade in the texture to get some more depth. Not worrying about blending it too much, since it's just the start of building the dimension. Add that same color into an airbrush and start painting some softer shading. In the contour areas and some noodling in larger spaces on the top of the head. With the sea sponge and the ochre, build some textures. In the same areas that were airbrushed, also adding it to the outside of the arms and under the eyes. Back with the airbrush, shade the scaled textures and soften the areas under the eyes. Finish with a quick spatter. With Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color 2 palette, use the light yellow to add some highlight points. Also spray lines down the center of the pieces to give the illusion of more height. Now grabbing the Bow Buggles Rust Red, using this for the shading. Being careful not to overuse the color and make the character too dark. Added some noodling texture on the head and neck and shade between the scales. Create some markings on the head and arms with the Bow Buggles Peach Color. Layer it kind of blotchy to add a little texture. Then line the shape with the Rust Red, getting different thicknesses in the line for more interest. Then grab a smaller brush and create texture and spotting along the prosthetics. Bringing some of the spots out past the pieces and go over the same area with a spatter. Took the color in an airbrush and added some softer texture. Did a light spatter of the ochre, then taking light yellow, highlight the highest points of the pieces and brighten up the ears. Apply the yellow in the inner edge of the markings. Also lightened up the scars. With the sea sponge, brighten up the highlight areas. Using the rust red, add some shading around the scar and the inner areas of the eyes. Even did some contouring on the nose. Next, with the saffron color out of the Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color 2 palette, start with spattering the mid-tone areas, then using it in an airbrush to create softer transition from the darker spaces. Back with the light yellow to really emphasize the scars, and add it to some areas that need brightening. Grabbing the Collective Cosmetics Saint Holy Highlighter, add a bit of glow to the scales. Wanted some more texture, so I grabbed a detail brush and the Bow Buggles Saffron color and created a sort of freckling, concentrating it above the eyes and across the cheeks. Also in the jawline and in the divot between the collarbones. Also spattered some in those same areas for tinier freckling effect. 
back with the Collective Cosmetics Saint Holy Highlighter, apply it wet over the edges of the scales. Then add some on the ears and put a bit of glow on the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and collarbones. Because I love shimmer, took a brush and added it to a few larger areas. Once the contacts are in, color in my waterline with ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and Unce. Clean up around the eyes with the saffron color. Even colored in the inner half of my lips. Extend the corners of my mouth with the rust red. And of course, last touch, more of the Collective Cosmetics Saint Holy Highlighter. There you go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.